just the direction. Practice the direction using the right hand rule. I have a coil. Initially, B initial is 10 Teslas into the board. B final is 3 Teslas into the board. Tell me what's the direction of the induced current. So do, practice your right hand rule, practice Lenz's law without any numbers. Don't give me the number, just give me the direction of the induced current. Hmm? The B initial was 10 in and it decreased. P final is 10, it's still in, but it's now smaller number. So remember what's the biggest important word? You fight against the change, you don't fight against the B. Okay, if you wanna fight against the B, yeah, the B, uh, the B induced has to be out of the board, but you're fighting against the change of the B. So since you, the, you went in and it went out, but it decreased, uh, sorry, in and in, but it decreased, this one is gonna be Uh, no, sorry, uh, it's got to be clockwise, right? That's a kind of a tricky one, likely to be on the test, hint, hint, okay? <laughs> so um, any other kind of variation of that, we could say B initial was uh, 10 out, B final was three in. So the B final, B initial is 10 out. B final is three in. What's the direction of the induced current? This time, not only did it change magnitude, but it changed direction. Right? So somehow somebody had a, somebody had the, <clears throat> let's see, somebody had, um, maybe from the other side, somebody was, had a magnet, the north side facing towards you, and then they took it out, uh, they took it out, and then somebody else brought a magnet uh, in from this direction. So somebody take, took out the north pole, and then the other side, this, the north pole came in. Right, so the B field went from being out to in. So the change is what? The change is that it's going from out and it's changing to in, you gotta fight against that. So the B field induced has to be out, okay? So the current has to be And if you want to do it with the equation, what will happen is it'll be N uh, A, B final minus B initial over T. Let's say you get a little confused with the right hand rule and you say, you know what, I'm not 100% sure of my answer. But if you, if, you, if you do the equation right, there's a negative out here, right? That, that has to do with Lenz's law. So look what happens if you do the signs Accurately, B final is three in, so negative three. B initial is 10 out, so negative 10. And then the T is whatever. So that's gonna be uh, negative NA over T, negative 13, and the two negatives cancel. You get positive. If it's positive current, it's equivalent to saying counterclockwise. So this is, uh, again, semi-cheating way of not having to use the right hand rule, <laughs> okay? But the two should confirm each other, the two uh, answers. Okay, now I can try to illustrate.